Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the scanner and scanning things. Okay, so I have a brother um, printer, scanner, Dumaflagi, and um, so yours may be a little bit different, but usually the procedure is very similar. Um, so hopefully this will help you troubleshoot maybe some problems that you may be having. Okay, so um, this is the scanning bed, of course, and so you open it up, make sure that the glass is clean, and I grabbed this old um, sheet music from uh, 1876. Isn't it pretty? Ho, 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 ho. So I picked this because it has it has black, it has an image, it has a little bit of color, so I figured, you know, it was a little bit of everything. So we place this on the scanning bed, and do you see the arrow back in there? Okay, so you can slide it back this way, and make sure that you note where the edges are um, so that if this is where the edge of a letter would go, like an eight and a half by 11, at least in the States. And then here is the length of an eight and a half by 11. So make sure that it is in the proper um, size that you need. I'm gonna pull it away just a little bit, a little tiny bit, because I do um, usually scan in letter size. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. Now we're gonna go, you're just seeing the glare. Okay, so now we're going to look at the keyboard here, or the, we're gonna look at the touch screen, and we're gonna see if this is, some, some of them have touch screens and some of them don't. So I'm just gonna hit the scan button, and if you hit this, it's gonna scan it to your PC and save it as a file, and yes, we want that. That is the name that it gave my desktop and hit options here. And here is the scan settings. The scan type is color. The resolution is 200. Well, we don't want that. We want at least 300. And we can go down. Do you want a PDF? So let's click on that. I'm, I want a JPEG this time. Scan size, letter is okay. Remove background color. Mm, that's not necessary. And I think that's it. And then you hit OK. And then it will bring this up, and then you have to hit Start. And now it's starting to do its little thing. Its little thing. Should start making noise here in a second. OK, and now it's asking if you want to scan another page. I'm going to say no for now. And so now we need to go to the computer and the on my printer and scanner, this machine, it automatically pulls a file up on my desktop. If yours does not, if it is plopping these files somewhere where you don't know where they're going, um, you're gonna have to check your manual and see where to check that setting. Every single one is going to be different, so. Let's go to the desktop and see what happened to the file. Okay, so this is where my computer puts the scans and it's under this PC, then in the pictures folder, and then it is under this control center four and this is the um, term that the brother company uses and then it is in the scan folder inside of there. So. Next time you scan something, if you forget where it goes, just take a screenshot of this and put it on your desktop or something so you remember. So here it is, here, here it is. And we're gonna double click on that and that is how it came out. So I wanna show you something. Do you see this right here? So this sometimes happens. It does not happen all the time, but you will come across this problem happening. One way to make it a little bit lessened is if you scan at a higher DPI. So try more like 600 or 1200 if you have it um, in, your, in your settings. 
and see if that helps clear that up. So, okay, so now you're sitting here, we're just gonna forget about that right now because I just wanted to show you that that can be a problem. It's a problem. It's not always a problem, but it can be a problem. So you're thinking, okay, I don't have Photoshop or I don't have PicMonkey or I don't have GIMP or I don't have Aviary or whatever. So this, I am on a PC, but if you are on a Mac, they also have a Photos program. And when you open up a picture like this, you can go up here to where it says edit and create and you click the little arrow and this is the drop down box. And there's several different things that it's, you know, telling you about. I don't want to add rain or confetti. I just want to edit. And so we're just going to click on that. And then the first thing that pops up is your enhance panel. And so you can go through all these different filters if you choose and pick one of these if you like it, okay? Um, you can also hit adjust up here and you can make it brighter or darker. You can make the color darker or lighter, like saturate and desaturate to your liking. This is clarity and clarity is kind of like sharpen, kind of. Uh, kind of. I won't get into the details of that, so it's long and drawn out. And then here is vignette. Whee! So you can make it dark or light or just leave it alone. Sometimes, do you see how, like, if I leave it on zero, do you see how there is kind of a dark ring around it? Well, if you don't want that, pull it back a little bit and it lightens up the edges, okay? All right, so this is called Spot Fix, and what Spot Fix is, see it turns it to this little, this little dot. And let's look at some of this stuff here. So let me, let me, let me, there we go. So do you see right here, this little dot? Well, if I click on that, see how it makes it go away? So this is kind of like in Photoshop, there is a blemish tool or a spot remover or whatever you want to call it. And when you click on things, it makes, it can make those little spots go away. Now this is kind of an elementary one, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's pretty darn snazzy. Oh, and look, when you zoom in, just, just to show you, see how his face clears up a little bit. So yeah, just FYI. Okay. So hopefully when we print that, we're going to print it. We're going to see what happens. Okay. Um, and then there's red eye, but I don't think you have to worry about red eye on a, you know, this isn't a photograph. So um, I kind of just, I'm going to bump up the clarity a little bit. What the clarity does, it kind of, it kind of con adds some contrast and it sharpens the edges of things. Kind of, kind of, sort of. <laughs> So, oh, so that's what I'm going to do for now. And then I think I like, um, I think I like everything mostly depending on how your, um, your printer prints. Some people find it difficult when they see something on their screen and then they print it and it looks totally different when they print it out. Well, this is because most likely 99.9% .9 of the time, it's because you are working on a non-calibrated monitor. And as a former uh, professional photographer, that was like 101, what, what's the first thing you do before you edit a photo, before you even load photos onto your computer to even view them and, and call them, you have to calibrate your monitor. Um, for people who are not graphic designers or are not photographers, it's not as big of a deal because it's going to be close-ish. But um, I always calibrate my monitor and usually graphic designers and people that make digital kits and that kind of thing, most of them have, have and should cal have calibrated their monitors so that... Um, so that the colors are rendering right, the lightness, the darkness is rendering correctly and all that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna save a copy here. And here we are, here is our, here's our copy, okay? And that's the old one, that's the new one. See, that's the difference. 
Okay, so now let's print this puppy out. And I am just going to print on a laser printer, I think. Um, I don't think I'm gonna print it on the inkjet. So I'm gonna go up here to the print button. And this is my laser printer right here. Um, I'm gonna print on plain paper, uh, letter size, full, fill the page. You can hit more settings. Um, it is a portrait setting, meaning that it is vertically longer than it is wide. At this point, we want high quality and you can choose between normal and high in this one. And I want color. And now I'm just gonna hit okay and print and we'll see what happens <laughs> we'll see what happens i will show you what happens i hear my printer turning on all right and so this is how it popped out right 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 here right right here and as you can see oh and there were a lot of people that liked poindexter we could call him dex so it might be dex is he ambid Dexterous? I don't know. He's only a right hand. Okay, sorry. So if we look at his little face though, it actually came out okay. That more thing um, kind of went away after we after we printed it out. Sometimes it won't do that. Sometimes it will it will totally stay and that stinks and but you know what what do you do about it? Why am I cutting this out? I mean, without even thinking, I grab scissors. <laughs> Is this like muscle memory? Like, like to the max here? It's like, why am I cutting? Anyway, so um, it actually came out pretty well. So you can um, scan things into your computer and you can print them out. You can adjust the the color, the brightness, you can even fix some blemishes, you can sharpen the edges and add some contrast just with the program that comes on your computer if you have Windows 10 um, and if you have a Mac. So um, the other question I get a lot is about, about scanning is what are you allowed to scan and use? And I could get into that, but this is the bottom line. Um, depending on the, the country you live in, there's going to be different laws on that. But if this is like family photos that you, you know, your family photos or, you know, your family ephemera, those are all free game. So if you've got, you know, notebooks from grandma and handwritten letters from Aunt Delia and vacation photos from 1945 that, I mean, they're yours, they're your people, it's your squad. Um, you have every right to um, scan those. Um, now, now Aunt Delia might have a problem with you showing her notes to everyone, so, uh, use your discretion. You might talk to her before you, you know, publish that to the world. Um, if she is not around anymore, then, well, there you go. There's your answer. Um, but as far as like, like stuff like this, like this is from 1876. So I, I, I'm cool beans. Okay. I'm cool beans. Um, but it gets kind of dicey the closer to, um, you know, your time frame. So in the United States, there's different time frames for different types of work. So Google it, just, just Google it. The Oracle knows all. Um, and if you live in another country, your laws are likely going to differ a little bit. So, so please check on that because you don't want to, um, get into trouble if you're going to be selling something. <laughs> um, so, you know, so be careful. And, but there is a lot of information out there on the interwebs um, and there is a lot of, um, a lot of forums and a lot of blogs that, that talk about this thing a lot. So I think you'll probably find an answer. Um, and if not, if, and, and if in doubt, don't, right? Don't do it if you're in doubt. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for scanning with me today. And maybe we will revisit this again. If you guys have any trouble with your scanning, just um, give me a holler down in the comments section and so that I can address that in a, you know, 2.0 uh, version of the scanning, the scanning videos. And I'm going to start doing these every once in a while, questions that I tend to get a lot of, and then that way I can answer them for everybody. Okay, Dex and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.